We listened to you, the results are in, and we want to thank all of you who took the time to vote on our community page on which way we should lay our peel and stick tile. Hey guys, we're Darius and Akula of DIY Power Couple. And we're here to help you update your home and save money by doing it yourself. Have you ever just wanted to update your bathroom floor, but it has ceramic tile and you don't have the budget or the tools to do a complete demolition? We thought about adding a glaze or painting the tiles, but we had some that were chipped and cracked and we weren't sure how the finished look was going to turn out. We wanted to change up the tile pattern because we were doing a complete bathroom makeover and we were getting excited about how Peel and Stick can help us with this transformation. This is what we've been waiting for. We're getting the ceramic tile all cleaned up and this is our floor plan. One of the most important things when installing peel and stick is to have a level subfloor. Our ceramic tiles had deep grout lines, so we are going to use a product to fill in the grout lines, fill in our cracks, and kind of give us a nice level surface so our peel and stick can install easily over it. We're going to use this self-leveling floor patch to fill in the grout lines and then we're going to let it sit overnight. We've used this product before to fill in our concrete subfloor. It worked great when we used it during our vinyl plank flooring project. A level subfloor reduces noise and it prevents gapping and it'll help your peel and stick tiles last longer. So now we're doing a dry layout. So we're going to lay these tiles in a brick pattern, slanted, going in a long diagonal. Yes. <laughs> so there's arrows in the back. So I want these arrows to go this way, from the door all the way to the end of the um, tub. Okay. So they should be all going this way. It's two. probably one and some more tiles depending so on how we two, cut it. Yeah. So you need, you need two boxes to okay. cut that. Our favorite DIYs are those that are budget friendly and transformational and you get all of that with peel and stick. It's amazing to me how you can transform your floor so easily with this product. So you'll see how hubby and I work together to create a fresh space in our bathroom. We had to create a lot of templates for these angled cuts, but Hubby and I tag teamed this project like always.
Oh, don't you just love a good DIY? This floor looks so much better. And I have to tell you, it took us a little bit longer to peel and stick because of all the angled cuts. Even though there are no spacers, we decided to grout our seams just to blend the tiles together a little better. When I was sealing everything up and putting on the finishing touches, I couldn't help but think about how much money we saved just by putting peel and stick over our ceramic tiles. We love the way this floor turned out. This is a good DIY to make your small bathroom feel spacious. It can, and it's something that you can do as a first time DIYer. This was our very first time installing peel and stick tile at a 45 degree angle. We wanted to show you that you can peel and stick over ceramic tile. I feel like this pattern gave the bathroom so much more life. So what do you think? Let us know in the comments. Thank you guys for being here and we'll see you in the next video. Hey guys, we have a whole peel and stick flooring playlist for you. So you can see all the ways you can use peel and stick to update your home. And remember, you, you can, can DIY too. too.